All right, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Harakakwadash. I want to give double honors to Apostle Tahar and other elders and apostles that are in the spirit, whose labors are being sent into. This is Aksham Gar, and as you can see, the lesson is titled, The Holy Spirit Within Us Bears Witness That We Are the Israelites, right? So I'm just going to go through a multiplicity of uh, different scriptures to actually just prove that that Harakakwadash, right? That spirit of wisdom, right? The fear of Ha'adawan. Right, which which is saying the fear of the Lord, right, dwells within us, right? The the, the Israelites, so called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. Now certain scriptures are applicable unto the elect, but they still serve the purpose in proving that what? That we are the Hebrew Israelites. You see what I'm saying? So uh without further ado, John chapter fourteen and verse fifteen, it says, If you love me, keep my commandments. Now who's able to keep the commandments of the Heavenly Father? Right? Yashra Allah, Israel. These these other heathens is not in them, right? Because the scriptures, even with Esau, it says that the, um, what the Heavenly Father had made crooked, who can make right? Right. And then we know that, you know, keeping these laws, statutes and commandments is our wisdom in, in the sight of these nations. Right. Now, we understand through uh, Sarah, uh, Sarah chapter 24. And I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that later because I really want to go into that scripture. It says that the dwelling place of uh, wisdom is in Jerusalem. You understand? So <clears throat> now the nations, they have a little bit of wisdom. Right. But, you know, eventually they go off. Right. And it, and it also talks. Matter of fact, let me just grab it. I'm going to come right back here and come right back there. So I write chapter 24. It says. <laughs> let me read it. It says in the waves. Right. I'm going to start at verse six in the waves of the sea. Highlight it for you. all In the waves of the sea. And in all the earth and in every people and nation, I have got a possession. This is talking about wisdom. Right. So if you read up, it says right here, wisdom, um, verse 21, uh, verse one, wisdom shall praise herself and glory her in the midst of her people, her people. Right. So it says that wisdom has gotten a possession in every nation. So some people, you know, got a little wisdom, like, you know, the Elamites, they might know about reincarnation, but then they go off talking about you might come back as a rock. You see what I'm saying? All right. They got a little wisdom knowing that we supposed to, you know what I mean? Or you or the Ishmaelites. They got a little wisdom knowing that you can eat pork, uh, that's like that you're not supposed to eat pork. Right. But then they go off by what eating pork, uh, uh, shrimp, crab and lobster. You see what I'm saying? So these other nations like, you know, they got a little bit, you know, but they they, they always go off. Right. Because it's not like with wisdom is not the dwelling place. Uh, um, it's like the dwelling place of wisdom is not with these other nations, but yet with Jerusalem. I'm going to read that. Verse seven it says, well, all these uh, all these I sought rest and in whose inheritance shall I abide? So. Wisdom is like, all right, who shall I abide with? Who shall I abide with? Right. Verse eight, it says, so the creator of all things, Yahweh, right? By Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? So it says, so the creator of all things gave me a commandment. And he that made me caused my tabernacle to rest and said, let thy dwelling be in Jacob and thy inheritance in Israel. Right. He created me from the beginning before the world and I shall never fail. Right. Verse 10. It says, and this is the point, right? In the holy tabernacle, I served before him, and so was I established in Zion. Likewise, in, in the beloved city, and he gave me rest, and Jerusalem was my power, right? So the point is, who has wisdom, right? You know, Jerusalem, Israel, right? Because with us, it, it, it's how to keep the law perfectly, right? Now, if you go back in time now, of course, you know, Israel always went off. Right. But still, at the end of the at the end of the day, the laws, statutes and commandments were only given unto who Israel. Right. And we read that in uh, Psalms. Right. I'm trying to rush through this road, not rush through it, but I, I really want to get these, you know, scriptures for you. I know Jake attention span be like a little, you know, uh, short sometimes, you know, uh, but right here it says. Psalms 147 and 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Right. It says he have not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known him. Praise ye, Hadawan, man. Right. So the point is, these other nations, man, they don't have wisdom, right? The scriptures also say that what when we keep these laws, statutes, and commandments that the heavenly Father has given us and our forefathers, right? It is our wisdom in the sight of the nations, and they shall look upon these laws and be like, yo, this is a wise and great and understanding people, because when we keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. What is it, right? There's reasons. There's there's a uh, uh, understanding behind why we shouldn't eat the scavengers of the sea because then the ocean is going to be dirty, man, right? It, it, it's certain reasons why the Heavenly Father did these things. You see what I'm saying, right? Because He's not just putting out rules just just for the hell of it, hell of it, man, heck of it, 
right? No, there's, there, there's understanding behind it, right? How to make our life better, right? <clears throat> now I want to grab this, our, uh, Second Ezra chapter 3, right? Because if you look at it, right, who's keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, right? Only Israel. Don't nobody else know about, you know, uh, uh, well, you know, you got the Jewish rats, but they don't even keep the path to Pesach right, right? They know about the Pesach, but look at how we do the Pesach. They eat unleavened cookies, or they eat, it's like, I'm not unleavened cookies. They eat cookies on, 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 um, on, on, on the Shabbat, man. You know what I mean? Like, no, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, an exact way you're supposed to eat that meal. You see what I'm saying? You're supposed to have that lamb, the unleavened bread, you know what I mean? Uh, that, that bitter herb, right? And that wine, right? So what the hell is it that they're doing? You know, they eating cookies for Passover? White fish? So, so it's just it's just showing you that what we are the the Hebrew Israelites. Man it says, uh, Second Ezra chapter three verse thirty six, thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. What are the precepts, man? These laws, man. You see what I'm saying? Israel was keeping these, not 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 just not just any Joe Blow heathen. You see what I'm saying? No East uh, uh East Indian, no 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 Edomite, no Ishmaelite, none of them. They're not doing this because the Heavenly Father hasn't commissioned them to do so. He hasn't put his Habakkuk with Dash in them. That Holy Spirit, that spirit of wisdom. He hasn't, it, it's not dwelling with them, right? Yeah, praise ye Yahweh, man. Let me go back to this, all right? <clears throat> and just even the fact that we have the truth, right? Because the reason why, you know, it's, it's good to go into things like this is because, you know, Satan will try to come in your mind, Right? He'll try to like, you know, uh, and, and, and I've, I, it has happened to me. It's happened to multiple different brothers. I, I mean, countless brothers I've actually talked to. And this has actually happened. So I know it's not by coincidence. I know it's Satan, right? I know it's Satan. Satan, Satan don't try to come in your mind. How do you know you're an Israelite? How do you prove it, right? You sure? You don't even know your grandfather. You don't know your dad, right? Now, I know my dad, but I don't know, for me personally, I don't know my grandfather. You see what I'm saying? And there's a lot of jakes that don't know their fathers, right? But their hearts incline into this truth, right? There's a reason behind all that, right? The Heavenly Father know that, you know, uh, Jake was going to be in a, a, a poverty-stricken situation. We we're going to be cut off from our heritage. He's, he's already commissioned things. So how does he, how does he commission that we come back to him if we don't even know who we are? Because, man. We still have, you know, we still have um, an approximation. Okay, yeah, the Hebrew Israelites were sent to this region. Okay, the uh, uh, the Ephraimites are sent to this region. Judites and, you know, the Gadites and the Reubenites are sent to this region. How do you know you're an Israelite, though, out of those ones that are sent to that region? Because your spirit will bear witness. You see what I'm saying? That Howard Kakwadash will be placed in you. You're handpicked, right? And that's the point. All right, let me get that in John chapter 14. Right. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments and I will pray the father. He shall give you another comfort. And there's how was I talking to the apostles. Right. But also this is still somewhat applicable to all Israel as well. Right. But we understand that in John 17, he says, I pray for uh, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. So Yahweh is really only praying for the elect. But the point is, right, even if you're in this truth, you have had to have the Harakaka Dash uh, um, on you at some point. You see what I'm saying? That whether you went off or whether that Harakaka Dash was snatched from you, you see what I'm saying? Now, that's different, right? Because sometimes, you know, brothers and sisters, they'll come into this truth and they'll get condemned in a mind and different things like that. And Yahweh also spoke about that as well. Well, Peter said, Simon, Simon, Satan has desired to sift you, uh, to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Now, what a lot of people in this truth, Satan has, you know, had their way with, uh, with, with different brothers and sisters, man, and caused them to go back into the world. Now, they just weren't uh, a part of the elect. You see what I'm saying? Because if, if Satan has had you, you see what I'm saying? And he sifted you out of this thing. You're not of the elect. You see what I'm saying? Yahweh Shah hasn't prayed for you. You see what I'm saying? But 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 think about what, what Yahweh said to Peter. He said, Simon, Simon, Satan has uh Satan desire to have you as weak that you know uh that he that he may sift you, right? But don't worry, I have prayed for thee. Why? Because see, uh, uh, uh Peter's of the elect, you understand? So if you got Yahweh Shai praying for you, you're gonna you know what I'm saying, you're gonna make it, man. Right? But if you're not of the elect, if you're not of that 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 crop of first fruits, then of course. But this is that's getting into something else, right? It says even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, right? The world cannot receive the spirit of truth, right? They can't get it. They don't understand, right? Because what will happen is you'll try to speak the truth on some and they'll get offended some way, somehow, right? They'll say, well, that don't make sense to me. Of course it don't. Of course it don't. You don't got the Arakakwadash. You weren't handpicked. 
You understand? You weren't uh, specifically chosen, right? You know, we understand that somebody like LeBron James. All right, man, he's an Israelite. Come on, man. If you're saying LeBron James not an Israelite, come on. Like, that's LeBron James. You know he's from Judah, right? So the point is, right, he can't receive this spirit of truth. But you have, right? And are you some big six foot nine, you know, uh, Jake is slam dunk a windmill of basketball? No, oh, you got something far greater, which is that Howard Kakwadash, man. You know these scriptures, right? You understand this truth. You know what's going to happen. Why? Because the Heavenly Father, he has revealed his secrets unto you, right? And the fact that you have been, you know, uh, uh, had, it's like it, you had the, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah re reveal these secrets unto you, man. It's that's a blessing, right? Let me let me let me get this for you. Amos chapter three verse seven, right? Surely uh, Ha'adawan Yahweh will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, right? That's the point, man. Right? Do you reveal secrets unto just anybody, or do you re 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 uh, reveal secrets unto your friends, right? And we understand that what wisdom, right? Obtaining that spirit of wisdom. Right. Makes you a friend unto the heavenly father. So this is this is another way just to know. Wow. I'm an Israelite, man. How do I know these things? But everybody else don't. Right. Satan. And, and this is the thing. Satan will come into your mind with these irrational ass thoughts, man. That's irrational. Look at everything else I'm doing. Look at that. Look at look at, you know, what, what's going on. Brothers is doing the work, making videos, reading, understanding these scriptures, going through the breakdowns, understanding the breakdowns. Right. Having these secrets be revealed unto us. It is not by your own will or own accord that you can understand these things. You have to get out of that mindset. You have not willed yourself to do shit, right? The Heavenly Father had literally had the commission. It's like a Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, literally had the commission, an angel to come to you, open up your understanding, take that, take them, take them blinders off your eyes, and, and you receive that spiritual eyesight to be able to see these scriptures that you have seen before. Right. And understand them now clearly as day. Right. <clears throat> These things are plain upon tables. We can read them now. We understand. Right. There's so many scriptures I want to grab. Ah, oh, uh, what do I want to start? What do I want to start? Right. But this is matter of fact, let me just let me, let me just get this video for you, because I, I'm really trying to harp on this Satan thing. Right. Because. This is really a plague on some brothers, man, and. Now that I've been strengthened, I'm trying to strengthen, you know, my Akim and Akwaf if you are going through this thing, right? <clears throat> because Satan will try to come in your mind and plague you, man. So let me get this for y'all. To it's your mind, other. and that's something that we have to always consider. Okay, is this a thought from the right side or the left side? Because every day you got, you get, you're bombarded with both. And the more you're, the more you're seasoned, the more you acquire a spiritual mind, you're more discerning. Okay, oh, that's just Satan. That ain't nothing but the devil. I'll have you look at a brother a certain type of way. You look at your one. Right, but that's the point, man. You see that? So that's the Heavenly Father, you know, uh, allowing Satan on the left-hand side, like you read in the book of Job, <clears throat> to try you, man. To try you. He going to say, listen, there ain't no limit on how Satan going to try you. You understand what I'm saying? Well, <clears throat> the Heavenly Father won't allow Satan to go hard on you than you can bear. But the fact of the matter is Satan going to try to come at you any which way, man. Right. He's going to try to get you up out of this thing. But the elect are going to be resilient. They're going to uh, persevere. They're going to press on. Right. So everybody else. Right. They're they're literally uh, like it. They're they are literally blinded from receiving the spirit of truth. Right. From 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 having these secrets be revealed into them. All right. Let me get this. Second, second, as chapter eight and verse uh, 62, it says these things. Right. So um, yeah, I was saying this to. Uh, Yahweh is saying this to uh, 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 to Ezra, right? It says, these things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. Then answered I and said, behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of wonders which thou will begin to do in the last times. But at what time thou hast not shown me, right? So Ezra literally just had a secret revealed unto them, to him, right? Now, somebody can actually read this and not know what the heck is talking about but we do we know it's plain as day it's clear it's plain upon tables why because the, uh the heavenly father has placed the harakak with us that spirit of wisdom right that spirit of knowledge wisdom and understanding right we can understand what these scriptures are saying plain as day we know the secrets we know we know the backstory you know we know what's going on we aren't offended right <clears throat> 
right? So when we read these things, we understand that what the Heavenly Father is literally what commissioned certain men, right, and certain women to understand these secrets, man, right, to understand what's going to happen at the last times. Nobody, everybody else act like they don't know. <clears throat> and then you got some, even some Israelites, right, that can't discern the times, right? They say you could discern the seasons and, you know, when, 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 when uh, um, the, uh, the leaves fall off the off the trees and whatnot. But you don't discern what time you in. You talking about you won't be here for another 10, 20 more years. Right. <clears throat> but the Heavenly Father has put it in our spirit. Right. Those who are fervent and diligent in this ministry. Right. To be able to know what time we in. Right. <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 8 and 5. Whoso keepeth the commandment shall, uh, shall feel no evil thing. And a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment, right? So we're able to understand, right? We're one of those few, right, that the Heavenly Father, like like, like he has shown unto uh, Ezra's, right? These things that are going to happen in the last time, these secrets are being revealed, right? So you think he's going to reveal these secrets unto a heathen, right? That doesn't make any sense at all. That's an irrational ass thought. But Satan will try to come at you that way, right? And you have to be prepared. And how do you fight Satan with these holy scriptures, man? You got to make them sound foolish, man. Because when he come at you with some foolish shit, you know, in your mind, you got to come back back. Like, no, nah, man, that's not what the scriptures say. Man, get out of here, man. I'm a psycho shatan. Get out of here. Rebuke you. Right? <clears throat> Let me grab. Oh, damn, I was about to grab something. And it's totally just. It says, man, it's hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, right here, right? Yeah, kind of, kind of. Uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter one and verse four says, for into a malicious soul shall uh, wisdom shall not enter nor dwell in a body that is subject to, unto sin. Right. So a body that's, you know, not keeping the law, statutes and commandments. You, you understand what I'm saying? Unto a malicious soul. Right. So the heavenly father, he's not going to commission the Harakak Dash. Right. That spirit of wisdom to dwell into a body that is subject unto sin or, or a malicious soul. D does not these heathens have a perverse spirit in them? They don't have excellent spirits. They don't. They don't have a, a upright spirit in them. It's no. It's none of them upright, man. They. 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 They off. They malicious, especially Esau. Right. It calls him a, a profane man. Right. None is. Uh, none is as uh, profane as Esau. Right. So you think the heavenly Father is going to allow allow that harakakwadash, that holy spirit, holy, which means set by to be set apart, right? This is the good stuff, not the bad stuff. You know, this is not the regular stuff. This is the Holy Spirit, right? That set apart spirit, right? Which is only for my children, right? You think he's going to allow some filthy heathen to receive that Harakak Wadash? And a part of receiving that Harakak Wadash, man, right? You'll understand what these scriptures are saying, man, right? You'll have the spirit to do the Heavenly Father's will. Esau don't got the spirit to do the Heavenly Father's will on the right hand side. Only on the left, because he's a demon. He has a malicious soul. So if you have this spirit of truth, if you have this wisdom inside of you, right? Come on, man. Right? Look at look at what it says right here, verse five. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding, and will not abide when unrighteous uh, unrighteousness come in. Right? So that's the point, man. It says, for wisdom is a loving spirit, and will not acquit a blasphemer of his words. Right? For the most high is witness of his reigns and a true beholder of his heart and the hearer of his tongue. So the point is, Esau is all these things. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It says he will, the Holy Spirit will uh, will flee deceit. He's the he's he's the, he's the damn devil, man. He lies, right? That's that's what he's commissioned to do. When you read Revelation, when you read Revelation 20, he's he, he's literally commissioned to deceive the world right now for that little season. So the Holy Spirit is not dealing with him. You understand? It says, and remove from thoughts without understanding, man. He doesn't have understanding of these scriptures, man, for real, right? And will not abide when unrighteousness comes in. So the Havakot Kodash, man, ain't going to be in Esau, right? Ain't going to be in no damn Edomite. That's, that's disrespectful, man. You understand? It's literally disrespectful for you to think that the Havakot Kodash can come into some filthy-ass Edomite or, or, or some heathen. Nah, man, you are an Israelite, Right? The reason why is because you can understand these scriptures, man. You can, you have the Harakak Wadash. You have the uh, the uh, ability to do the Heavenly Father's will, man. Some people will sit here and try to make a video and try to be edifying, exhorting, and comforting, and it will be no spirit behind it. You will not comfort anybody, right? Because it's not literally, it's not even you. It's the Harakak Wadash in you, man. It's that Holy Spirit in you, right? 
they would have fainted long, long, long ago. <clears throat> Let me grab another one for y'all. Uh, I like this. Now, John, I'm going to read this one in the NLT, though. John, oh, I'm going to ask. It's lucky, y'all. John chapter 6 and 65. It says, and he said, therefore I said unto you that no man can come unto me except that we're given unto Lord. All right, so check this out, right? I'm going to read this in the NLT. It says, <coughs> then said, that is why I said people can't come unto me unless the Father gives them to me. So literally, man, the Heavenly Father had to give you unto Yahweh Shai, right? So you can't come unto Yahweh Shai doing Yahweh Shai's will, doing the, uh, Yahweh Shai's Yahweh Shai's will, unless the Father had commissioned you to do so, right? John chapter 15 and verse 22, it says, <clears throat> no, nah, that ain't it. Damn, where is that at? You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Mm. But all right, well, I, I can't find it right now. But it says, but basically, um, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Oh, right, 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 right. John 15 and 16. It says, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever you shall act of the father in my name, he may give it to you. So the fact that, I, that the fact that the point is, right, you have been chosen. You haven't chosen your house. You didn't choose to come to this truth. Right. That thought that came into your mind and say, you know, what? let me check this thing out. That didn't come from you. That came from the Habakkuk with Dash. That came from the heavenly father literally choosing you. Right. You have to be chosen to be to be in this truth. It's not just an all inclusive. Anybody can join type thing. Nah. And this is why you see a lot of men getting kicked out or getting spewed out because they're lukewarm. Right. The have the, the Habakkuk with ain't uh, uh, is not dwelling in dwelling inside of them anymore. Right. The Heavenly Father has called up that spirit or required that Habakkuk with Dash. You see what I'm saying? So this is the point, y'all. All right. All these scriptures are what? Just just testifying that we are the Israelites. Why? Because we have these things, man. We have the spirit of truth. Right. We have wisdom inside of us. Right. And we understand that wisdom don't dwell into a malicious soul. Right. We see scriptures like second Ezra three and thirty six. Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. man. Right. We see these different things. I wanted something in Isaiah 22, but it says the same thing in Isaiah six. Um. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 9 and he said go and tell this people hear ye indeed but understand not and ye see indeed but perceive not make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes like they lest they see with their eyes and hear with their hearts and understand with their heart <clears throat> and convert and be healed right because this, this 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 truth is like it's literally a blessing to be in this truth right so to think that just anybody can enter in to think that anybody can just be given the Harakak with Dash or, you know, just to, you know, just 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 be in it. That's, that, I, I, I can't agree with that, man. I, I don't believe that. You know, I, I just I just can't, man, because I don't I, I, I don't understand it because like, it literally says right here that when you receive this truth, like you're you going to be healed from that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be healed. Right. He's not going to allow some 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 filthy ass heathen to what? To do these things that the, that the Heavenly Father's commissioned his men to do, right? You have to be one of his men. I'm not giving that honor to some filthy, filthy, you know, uh, uh, heathen, right? So that's the point, man. You got to take solace in the fact that what you're doing is, and you have to understand that what you're doing is actually an honor, man, right? So if you're if you're serving your Shem Yahweh Shai, you're doing his will, understand that, man. You know, you, you've been blessed. You've been given that spirit of uh, uh, that gift of faith, right? It's a gift. Everything. Uh, see, the whole concept when I'm reading all this faith, wisdom, the Habakkuk with Dash, understanding, knowledge, it's all given. It's all given to you from the Heavenly Father. You cannot of your own self get it by yourself. You understand? It has to literally be. be it has to literally be commissioned for you to receive that. You're even down to your measure of faith. You didn't will yourself to have that measure, right? The Heavenly Father gave you that measure. Why? Because you're of his chosen, man. You are an Israelite, right? We see all these different cats out here, man. Like I said, like I used LeBron James earlier. Oh, LeBron James here. Yeah, he's definitely an Israelite. Well, you got to definitely be an Israelite too, man. Right? Look at what you're doing for the Heavenly Father. You putting in that work, right? 
you reading these scriptures, you understanding these different breakdowns. And man, these things, man, these heathens can't get that. They get offended too quick. Look at Vocad, man. He's he, he, he's knowledgeable with, you know, with, with, with certain scriptures according to his doctrine. But when it comes down to really, truly believing it, like it, he just can't because he's offended by it. Right. Bless is he who is not offended by the word. Right. Now, if you was a Jake in his truth and you constantly getting offended, well, not even in his truth, but if you was a Jake and you and you constantly getting offended at the word. Now, yeah, I, I'll be a little skeptical of you. But if you get down with it and, and you just you agree into it and you incline it, incline unto it, like th th this truth, man, the Heavenly Father got to be dealing with you in, in, in a certain way, man, because not anybody could just not anybody could just join, man. This, this ain't no treehouse clubhouse. It ain't it. Right, this is how we know we are the Israelites, man. Right? So like is Isaiah 44. Right? Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 18. <clears throat> it says, They have not known or understood, for they have uh for he have shut their eyes that they cannot see, their hearts that they cannot understand. Right? So the point is this they don't the Heavenly Father doesn't want them to understand. He doesn't want them to know. He doesn't want them to get it, right? It's not for them to get it. It's for us to get it. Why? Because we are his children, right? He 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 reveals his secrets unto us, not just anybody, man, right? This is an honor to receive this truth, that spirit of truth, that Habakkuk this wisdom, right? He shut their eyes. He sent strong delusion. This is what he does to those who are not of his chosen, right? Even down to the people that are Israelites, even some Israelites, like, you know, even these celebrities and people that you know are Israelites. You may have a brother that you know you're an Israelite. So your brother, if y'all got the same dad, y'all got to be. He has to be an Israelite, too. But he don't get it. Why? Because the Heavenly Father literally didn't choose him. Right. He put a spirit of deep slumber upon him. Why? Because it's an honor to be in his truth. Not just anybody can do it. Not anybody can join. That's why when everybody's, you know, preaching this, you know, oh, Israel got to wake up. Oh, Israel ain't supposed to wake up, man. It's not for everybody, man. Be blessed that you're a part of this, right? When you sitting here trying to make everybody get it, like that's like you, 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 that 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 shows that you don't understand the value of being in this truth, man. You don't understand what's really going on. Not everybody can get this, and this is just a testament to the. It's like trying to give your gift to everybody, man. Nah, man. This ain't for everybody, man. This is for the elect, right? Now we understand, like I explained earlier, you know. At some point in time, we all have had to have that Howard Cockwell Dodge rest and reign upon us, right? But whether it was snatched from you or whether it's still resting and, uh, and stayed upon you and reigning in, and reigning in you, it's testament whether you're elect or, of a, you know, uh, of the two thirds. And that's a whole different lesson. But the point is, the Howard Cockwell Dodge ain't dwelling with nobody that's a freaking heathen, right? So take comfort in these scriptures, man. There's so many more scriptures I wanted to get into, but I'm not trying to make this video crazy long. And then, you know, I got to get dressed and get to the, uh, get down to camp. You know, me and the brothers, we all camp today. So, <sighs> let me see. It's one last joint I want to get. Let me see. Let me see. Um, let me get on to the mysteries of this. Well, yeah. All right. I'll, I'll get this last one. All right. And then I'll end off there. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 9. <clears throat> it says, Having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he had purposed in himself. Right? So the point is, we, we understand the Heavenly Father's will. Right? We understand what he wants for this place. We understand what's going to happen here. Right? <clears throat> and we understand that as long as we, you know, hold fast to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man, you know, we won't be taking in that great destruction that's coming upon this earth. Right? So look, man. I um, I, hope, I really hope that this comforted somebody, man. I, I I really pray that it did. And if you were suffering from certain things, like you know, hopefully you know, um, you know, you can use these scriptures, man, to combat Satan, and and just get those irrational thoughts out of your mind. And this is just all, also another way where we can prove that we Israelites. You know, if you ever, you know, get in a debate or if you gotta, you know, um, you know what I mean, uh, defend the gospel. I'm saying to defend the scriptures talking about, you know, we, we are the Israelites. That's how you do it, man. Right. Not, not just anybody can get this, man. It, it's for us. The Heavenly Father lead us up for his children, man. Not just for anybody. So, look, man, I, I want to give uh, all praise, honor and glory unto Yahweh. 
Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Harakakwadash. I want to give double honors to Apostle Tahar and other elders and apostles that are in the spirit. Shalom, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatah, Slaki Barakatham, to all you sincere Akim and Agwath, Shalom.